Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, this video is a little different than my normal videos. I'm doing a kit of a car, which I have not done a car since I was a child. Um, but I'm actually doing this on behalf of my wife or friend. So um, let's get right into this. Um, I'm not much of a car person, so forgive me for any uh, verbiage I use, which may be incorrect. But we have here Revell 1962 Chevy Impala model kit. Um, it comes in three variations. You can do it as a stock, you can do it as a uh, racing car, or um, there's one other option. Um, but I'm doing it as it appears on the cover of the box. And we have all the parts here. Here you've got some brake lights. We've got some interior parts here, seats, we have the underside of the car. Of course we have our chrome bumpers and wheels and all that. Some more chrome parts here, different uh, options for the bumpers. And then we have the remaining parts here, there's a hood there obviously, it looks like uh, we have part of an engine here, but uh, it's actually got quite a few parts for a car. So here we've got our chrome parts. We have our rubber tires, which are really nice. There's even a couple options on the tires. We've got our chrome wheels here. Then we have the interior seats. You have an option of bucket seats or bench seats. Uh, bucket I'm going to use for the front. So I'm going to start straight up, just follow the instructions right from the beginning. And we're going to start out with uh, our engine here. So here we've got some engine parts and I'm going to go ahead and remove those from the sprue. And we have all these parts here. We've got our two halves of the engine block. And I'm just going to go through, put the parts together. I'm using my uh, extra thin Tamiya cement and just putting it into the seams and letting it flow in there to glue everything together. So here I've got the uh, engine together and I've primed it with my Tamiya fine gray primer. And I'm going to paint this all with flat aluminum. I'm going to go ahead and airbrush that on and make the whole engine block a flat aluminum color like you see right here. So with that done, we have these other parts here for the fan and some other parts, which forgive me again, I don't know what they are, but I've shot them with uh, black primer paint here, Army Painter Black. Here we have the fan belt, and that's been painted black as well. We have a couple more parts here. It looks like we have the uh, oil, and i um, not sure what that is, but anyway, I painted them according to the colors uh, that are in the instruction manual. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to continue painting this um, based on what I've read from the instructions. And there's kind of an orangish yellow gasket around here, I guess is what this is, that goes around this bottom portion here. And I've done the same to these chrome pieces here and also the underside of this. And there are some decals that go on some of the engine parts. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these decals on. We have this that goes on right here. Get that in place. And all the decals have been put in place on these parts. So I have everything pretty much ready to finish off the engine. I'm going to go ahead and start gluing those into position where they belong. Again, using my Tamiya Extra Thin Cement just uh, dabbing it on there once I put the parts in place and it will just flow right into position and hold the parts in place. Now I'm going to work on the uh, fan here for the radiator. goes right on the front. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of washing over this. I want the engine to be fairly clean like it's somebody that takes good care of their car. 
but I do want to at least create some depth in the engine so it just doesn't look like a plastic toy. And I've done some washing over the engine. It's looking pretty decent to me. So it's time to move on to the underbelly of the car here, the undercarriage. And I'm going to use, again, my Army Painter uh, flat black matte or matte black primer and I painted the underbelly uh, I've also painted these muffler pipes and these little struts here and then I've taped off this section and I'm going to paint the rest of these with my uh, Tamiya flat aluminum paint and then these thicker sections I'm using my folk art nickel rub and buff paint I'm also using it on these little struts here. So I've got these painted. I'm going to go ahead and start gluing more of the underside together. Once again, using my uh, extra thin cement, I'm going to glue this in place. And I've got that done now. Both sides of the undercarriage are also painted black. And you can see those in there painted with the uh, nickel paint. They look metallic. Then I'm going to go ahead and start gluing on some other pieces here. Then I've got the engine which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue into place. And there we've got the engine glued to the undercarriage. Now I'm going to move on and do a little bit of dry brushing. I'm going to use my Tamiya flat aluminum paint and just lightly dry brush, try to pick up some of the highlights on the underside here to make it look a little more like black metal. I'm gonna go ahead and glue my exhaust pipes into place here. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section here and again, assemble these together using my Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. We've got these little spots here that glue to the bottom. I also have this little arm I need to glue on. And this all gets assembled right in this area, but first I need to paint it all. So I've gone and I've done my Army Painter black, and then I've gone over these pieces with some of my uh, Folk Art Nickel Rub and Buff paint. I'm going to go ahead and glue this shaft into place. And then I'm going to glue this into position in the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue these down into position and glue this little rod in place. And I'm going to do a little more dry brushing just to again pick up some highlights of these new parts that I put in place. And then I've got these guys here which according to the instructions they're supposed to be blue so I have painted them blue. And I've also done a little washing over this section here to just pick up the detail. And they get glued right into the back here for support. Now it's time to move on to the interior. So I've got the bucket seats, the rear seat, this middle console, the sides, and I also have the stick. So I've gone and I've primed all of this with my Tamiya Fine Gray Primer. And I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, bucket seats together, put their backs back on, and glue them into place. And this is the underside of the interior. I need to paint this red. The interior is red. Uh, this bottom side I'm going to paint black, so in case any of it is seen from the bottom of the car. So I've gone and painted that black. I've painted the underside black as well. But I've also taped off so that I can paint red over this existing black to make the uh, red carpet. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Tamiya flat red paint. I'm going to go ahead and airbrush that right over the black, um, which will give it a little bit of a deeper color red ultimately, which is what I'm looking for. So here we've got the uh, interior floor painted red. I'm going to go ahead and start painting the seats starting out with the bucket seat 
and I've got all the seats now painted red. And then I've also given them a Tamiya gloss coat so that I can do a little bit of washing to pick up some of the uh, cushion areas and recessed areas. Again, I'm going to use my Tamiya German Gray. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of red just to make a slightly darker red. And then do a wash over these and just fill in so there's a little bit of depth there. And here's how we have the uh, seats looking. There's some detail there. There's a little bit of separation there in the red. Uh, the middle of the cushions look a little darker red. And I've also done the side panels here. You can kind of see in the cushioned, in between the cushion areas, how it's a little bit darker. Now I'm going to use some Tamiya NATO black, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the speakers on the side panels here. I got both of those painted as well as this little speaker right there. And I've also painted this floor mat with the NATO black. Now I'm going to use some all clad chrome paint and I'm going to use that to paint the uh, window knobs and the door handle and all that to make them a nice shiny chrome. And you can see that all done up here. I'm going to use some cement. I'm going to glue in this little chrome piece in the back, which has a decal right here, which I'm going to apply. And go ahead and put that in the center here for the Impala. I've also got our little chrome piece here for the stick. I'm going to go ahead and glue the center console into place. Glue the rear bench seat into place have a little decal here that I'm going to put onto the stick. I'm going to apply that and then put the stick in place. And then it's time to go ahead and glue in the uh, front bucket seats. Then I'm going to take the side panels and glue those into position. And there we have the interior so far. So now we get to move on to the front console and all of its parts. So I put these together, primed them with Tamiya Fine Gray Primer, painted all of this with the flat red, and I'm using some photos I found online of a real Impala interior as reference. So just showing you these really quick so you can see the way I'm painting and I'm trying to make it look as close as possible to what you see here. Then we can go ahead and glue in some of our chrome pieces. Here we've got our glove box door. And then we have some decals which go onto the front of the uh, dash here. So I've glued on the speedometers and the tachometer and the gas gauge and all that. Also the Impala logo on the glove box door here. I've also gone and I've painted all the pedals black. And I've gone and I've used the all clad chrome and painted all the little knobs and controls with chrome and also done a little washing in the vents here. And then also did a little washing in the front of this console here. And I'm going to go ahead and then glue that into position. And I also did a little bit of washing in the vents up on the top here, which will be seen through the... Uh, front windshield. Still a little wet which is why it's shiny. And here we have the uh, steering column. I'm going to paint that chrome with a little black knob. I've also done a little wash in between so you can see where everything separates. I'm going to go ahead and glue on this gauge onto the side of the steering column. But first I need to apply the decal here. And I've gone and I've done that. You can see that decal in position. And then the center of the steering wheel is supposed to be chrome. So I painted that chrome with my all clad chrome, little, little black dots of paint, and then of course the little Impala decal in the center there. I like the way the steering wheel has turned out. I think it looks pretty nice and looks very much like the real car. 
And then here's the steering column again with that little piece glued on. Now I'm going to glue the steering wheel into place. Then go ahead and glue the entire steering column onto the front of the center console. And here we have the completed center console ready to be installed into the body of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more glue down and glue this into place. And there we have it installed and glued in place. And I think the model's looking pretty accurate compared to the real thing here in this photo. So we're going to move on to the wall here which goes behind the uh, center console behind the engine. And I painted that with the Army Painter Black. Uh, I'm going to leave the coolant the same plastic white color since that's what color it should be. I painted this black as well. And I've gone and I've glued those into position. That one piece I did a wash on and this one I painted gold as the instructions say. And again I left the uh, coolant tank white. Just glue that into position right back here. And there you have that glued in place. And now it's time to go ahead and put the uh, interior, glue that on top of the under carriage. But I also have this steering column or steering shaft that has to be installed as well. So I've glued the interior to the undercarriage and I've also glued that shaft in place you can see running up through there. Here we have the uh, radiator, again painted with flat black and then some dry brush over it. There's also the battery there. Here's the radiator. And then I've gone and I've glued the whole assembly together here with the ring on the front of the radiator and the battery up on that top right. And I'm just going to glue all this into place on the front of the engine here. Then I've also got a hose that I've glued into position with a little decal on it. And the battery painted that, had the little red cable coming out. Um, also another hose right here that goes from the radiator to the engine. And then we're going to move on to the tires and the wheels and then the brake pads. So the brake pads I have painted black. Uh, then I've gone and I've used my Folk Art Rub and Buff Nickel Paint to give them the metallic finish that they have. And I have these decals which then will be glued over the top of the brake pads. And I've gone ahead and I've glued those into position. And then I have this metal pin. This metal pin goes down through the center of the brake pad like so. Then it attaches to the inside of the wheel. It snaps in place though I will glue it into position. And then the whole wheel will get put into place inside the rubber tire. And here we have the entire tire wheel assembly. I've done all four of them now with their pins sticking out. I'm going to go ahead and take those and put those into position. And here they are in place. Also one other addition, uh, you can see the little chrome buttons and the little chrome trim down the inside of the door panel there and on the handle armrest. I've gone and I've done the same thing to the interior. I've done those little chrome buttons. In between the cushions I've done this chrome trim down the inside of the door and on this armrest. And again the little chrome buttons on the uh, in between the little cushions on the seats. So now we get to move on to painting the body of the car. The one part I've been looking forward to. Uh, as usual, primed it with my Tamiya Fine Gray Primer. Um, I have taped off the underside of this because that's going to be red but I'm going to paint the inside of the car black. Since the car is going to be black I painted the entire thing black um, and the underside as well except for this area which will be a different color for the interior. 
And because it's two-tone, I have taped off the top portion of the black, and I'm going to paint this with um, my mica silver from Tamiya to make it a two-tone paint job. And I've gone and I've painted the mica silver on the bottom half here. Uh, the hood as well, I need to paint that. That'll be black, but first I have to put on these little hinges here so that it can open and close on the model. So I need to glue both of these into position on either side of the underside of the hood. So I've got those glued into position and then I've gone and I've done my fine gray primer and then I've given it the shot of army painter black. I'm going to do some dry brushing in here to pick up the detail. I'm going to go ahead and do that with my flat aluminum and you can kind of see the detail picked up. And then the hood will just fit right on to the front here, like so. So now I've given it many layers of Tamiya gloss coat. This is about, I think I did about eight layers of gloss coat to this. And then next what I'm going to do is this, is, this trim is supposed to be chrome and there's supposed to be red in the middle. So I'm gonna try to hand paint that. There are no decals for that. So I'm gonna airbrush the red first. I had that taped off and you can see the nice red trim in the center there. Then I have these chrome paint markers and I'm just gonna very lightly go over that trim with the chrome marker and make that chrome so that pops and stands out. Now we have an Impala SS decal which I need to attach to the back side of the car right here which I've done. And we also have this other little decal just up by the front bumper. And then we have these two chrome pieces that need to attach to the front hood. We have this larger Chevrolet chrome piece which goes on the underside then we have the little Chevy logo piece that goes on the very front of the hood. Both of those have been glued into place. And there's a decal which goes on the front logo right here. So I've gone ahead and I've glued that logo into place there. And we also have a logo on the back hood which I've glued into place as well. And I've gone and I've taken the tape off and you can see that is still unpainted. So what I've done is I've done red trim around the inside so if you see it from the outside it'll show up red and I'm going to paint the interior with um, a tan color. So I've taped everything off except for what I want tan and I'm going to go ahead and use my Viejo Sam primer and paint the underside of the roof with that make it look like a tan color. Uh, here we have the sun visors. I've gone and I've painted those red with the Tamiya flat red. I'm going to use my Molotow um, chrome marker and paint the little pins here with chrome. And I've got those ready. And those just get glued into position on the underside and here is where the mirror goes. I've taken the mirror and I've painted the outside of it black. The rest of it I have just left with the uh, chrome that it comes with in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that rear view mirror into position here in the center. So with that done I've gone and I've taped off and all the trim around the windows is supposed to be chrome silver. So I've taped off just to make it a little easier for me and I'm going to use my Molotow um, markers and I'm going to do chrome trim around the entire window area of the car. And then pull all this tape off and there we have the chrome trim which will be on the outside of the windows. 
So at this point I think we're ready to go ahead and glue the uh, windows into place on the inside of the body. And I'm going to go ahead and place the front windshield in there and just put a few drops of the uh, extra thin cement and I've done that to all the windows and they are all now glued into position. Front windshield, rear window and the two little side windows. Now I've got these little chrome additions to add to the car. These two little fins which I will glue from the underside using my thin cement. We have a little door handle which goes on each side of the car. We have the side driver's side mirror and that gets glued into position right here. And then we also have our two windshield wipers, which I painted the blades black. So then we're going to move on to our front bumpers. We have these two which go together, but we also have this plastic piece which is, goes in between and holds the upper portion. So I'm going to paint this a chrome color to match the rest of it. So I've gone and I've painted that. I've glued it into position on the lower portion. You can see that in place there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this front one and I'm going to glue that into place right like so. And those are now glued together. So I'm drilling out the center of these because I'd like to light the headlights. So I've drilled it out with quarter millimeter drill bit. You can see all four of those drilled out there. Uh, these are the um, headlight lenses. And I've gone and I've glued those into position on the front. And then in here I'm going to do a wash. So I'm going to use my German Grey. I'm going to do a wash in there to pick it up so that it looks like you can see through into the car. Here we have the rear bumper. We have our little red tail lights which go in the back here and they just will glue right into position in the back like so and that's how the tail lights look. So I've gone and I've glued those into place and then we have a decal of our license plate which I need to attach right here in the center. We also have a little Chevy logo which goes in this thin area on the rear bumper and I've gone and I've attached that in the position on the back of the car as well. So I have these 0402 LEDs which I want to use to light up the tail lights and I also have the same 0402 LEDs which I want to use to light up the front headlights. I'm going to use my micro crystal clear as a glue and just let that secure the LEDs into position in the tail lights and I've done all six of those there and that micro crystal clear is drying and then I've done the same for the front headlights and that's holding the LEDs in position for the front headlights and the six LEDs in position for the rear tail lights and a little test of the headlights and a little test of the tail lights and I've gone and I've sealed up all of this with my liquid electrical cement um, to cover up so there's no light leaks. And you pretty much just get the light coming out of the uh, red lenses and nothing shining anywhere else. Also done the same for my front headlights, no light leaks. You just see the headlights. So I've glued the front bumper and the grill and everything into place on the front of the car here and you can see the hood opens up and you can see that's glued in position now and inside here you can see the wires I've tacked them down with liquid electrical tape down the sides and just run the wire down the inside so on the rear bumper here what I've done is I've taken a blade and I've trimmed out this whole section here and you can see I've cut it already it removes and what I want to do is make it magnetic so that it can attach right back into place like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a USB plug on the inside of the car here so you can plug it into USB to power the lighting. 
So with this little piece that I've removed, I've glued two little pieces of metal. Actually that's um, an X-Acto blade that I've glued on there. And then the inside here, all of my wires run along the inside to these resistors here. Uh, you can see all the resistors, they all go to my ground. And then I have all the positive wires and they're all going to this connector here. So on the bottom side of the car I have my USB power supply glued in place with a connector here as well. And I have two magnets glued on either side to attract the uh, back panel. So that back panel will just snap right in place, boom, like so. It's attracted by the magnets. And you can see how that will then just pull off, remove, exposing the USB plug. So at this point, I just need to take the two halves of the car, put the connectors together for powering up the lights, and just glue the top down, attach the hood. And the car is now complete. I hope you enjoyed this build. I know it's a little different, but I now present you with the uh, 1962 Chevy Impala. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.